In this video, we're going to go over the differences between the Caliber and the C4, and we're going to talk about some of the upgrades and design changes the C4 has that makes it better than the Caliber. In this video is for you to know which one should you get. I would say get the C4. It's got rail gas up top by default, so you don't pay extra for it. Um, it's got a different barrel clamp mechanism for easier barrel drops and better retention of your barrel, which means better reliability. The threaded rod caliber inversion. Uh, over time, these nuts could loosen up, resulting in a lot of wobble up top. This thing has got priming bars, so you don't have as much wobble. The Magwell itself, this is a TK Caliburn, but this one can be a TK or an Elite Caliburn by default, so you don't have to worry about which one do you get and if you're going to use full length darts. It doesn't need coupler inserts. Um, this one's already durable enough as is. It has a different ram core system and a ram base, meaning better air seal. Also, you can see the double screws means your ram core will not loosen up over time. It also has an air brake system in the plunger. meaning this one's quieter to fire as well and dry fire safe. Um, both of them can take a lower stock spacer attachment like a thumb hole. This one, you don't need it though. This one, you typically want it because it provides extra strength to the grip. That being said, the grip itself is printed in a better orientation. A three-part grip means you have grit greater stability, less likely to break your handle, which can happen on the regular caliber. This also, by default, has a two-stage trigger for both talons or katana magazines or full-length magazines, so you can fit all three with one setup. The C4 also has a quick-release butt plate to access your spring for quicker spring swaps. So that is a really nice handy feature. Um, it also is generally, like I said earlier, doesn't have threaded rods holding it together, so as rigid as it is now, is as rigid as it's gonna stay forever. The C4 also has a takedown with three screws, just one on the front, on the top, and then the front one on the other side, and you can separate into two halves to upgrade your internals or your RAM or do maintenance. The Caliburn also has that with the three pins. However, this system is more rigid. You also have the cooler sci-fi look. You actually have elastic bands instead of springs for your trigger and your sear. Uh, meaning they typically won't wear out as fast, or if they do, you can replace them a lot easier. The spring won't just pop off on you, which ha sometimes happens with an elite style Caliburn. Also, the C4 can take the Stampede, the Armax, it can take um, knuckle dusters, it can't take grip inserts, but as you can see here, it's compatible with almost every other upgrade the Caliburn is, and it is durable by default to boot. The C4 is a little bit more expensive, it is about $20 more expensive than the original caliber however you get a lot of upgrades and add-ons with it like a default railgasm and a lot of the other features that are already built in and for the increased durability you'll probably be saving money in the long run without having to replace parts or do regular maintenance so it is twenty dollars more expensive but i think it's worth it yeah this one's 130 default setup this one's 150 with your default setup however to get this the original caliber to a kind of a c4 standard of durability um, it would cost an extra $40 or so. More bang for your buck. We're gonna run a couple of tests. We're gonna look at a FPS or a chronograph, maybe shoot a target, see which one's more accurate, just to see if we can get a more, a wider range of comparison for us. So to the chronograph. This is a, pretty much the same barrel, same spring, just 3D printed internals, everything default on both setups with exception of, you know, some cosmetic bits and bobs here and there, but. We'll uh, do the uh, original Caliburn first. Should also say these are uh, worker Gen 3 darts, the white. So the Gen 3s, but the improved version. Not the improved, improved version that came out this year, but the one that came out last year. Average of 204, high of 223, a low of 172 with a deviation of 15. Here's the C4. Average of 222, high of 243, low of 186, deviation 16. This is a C4. Oh my gosh, did you see that one? We were right between the cups. This is already way more accurate than the other one. Although it might be because the scar is adjusted now, but. Oh my gosh.
More darts. I hit at least three cups dead on. Woo! Oh no, that was embarrassing. Last shot in the C4. Woo! Switch to the caliber. It might be a tie. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I'd say C4 is maybe a little bit more accurate. The true test of performance would be in an actual war, you know, in the heat of battle. So I'd go with the C4 though, because it's got plenty of features. Same spring, same plunger volume, same barrel. It's gonna be very similar in performance and power, but because the C4 is easier to maintain and less likely to wear out over time, less likely to loosen up, um, easier to clean if it gets dirty, and easier to swap springs if you need to, then I think the C4's got it. You decide, you decide which one you want, put it to the test and see how well it does. All things considered, the C4 is a better platform, it's more rigid, it has better performance, and has more features as well for your easier maintenance. And so if I had to recommend one, I'd say the C4 over the default caliber.